Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. We are here in Minecraft 1.14.2 pre-release 3. And we are going to open up the villager thing. I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so they've been releasing, uh, updates, Minecraft updates for 1.14, um, dot two, <laughs> meaning that yes, 1.14.1 was not ready either. Um, they released it, uh, but there were still problems. So very frustrating but the good thing is they seem to have fixed some of the problems that were plaguing me uh, so nope you don't go there so um, here's here's what we did um, let me build out something here and then we will uh, we'll make use of it blop and uh, the nice thing is it kind of proves a couple things are things are okay things are going to be okay Huh. So here we have an unemployed villager. Uh, I'm going to put him in that little cell, which should look familiar. I'm not make this deep enough. One, two, three. I did not. One, two, wait. Or, uh, huh, huh. One, two, three. Hi. We'll put him back there. Oh, no, this will be just fine. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, <clears throat> so um, I have this little setup here because this is the easiest way of getting these guys into minecarts. Oh, no, that's not. There we go. See? And he just rolls right in. Hi. So we'll leave these guys in minecarts, push them back, and then I'm going to take out this block here. And actually, I should put, I should put there. So, let me get rid of some of these rails. Oh, I've got a new keyboard. Um, uh, it might be a little clicky clicky. It's a it's a mechanical keyboard. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, we will see if if it's too annoying for recording. I can go back to the old one. So here, hi, you are unemployed. We want to give you an occupation. So let's make you, um, let's make you a Smith. Um, actually putting these on first was not too smart. Okay, so we put the smithing table down here, plop. And then, he is now a toolsmith. So he picks up the he he can he can pathfind even though he's in a minecart, he can technically pathfind to this craft to this uh, workstation. Which you can see right there. And so he picks that up as his occupation. Um, time query day oops, day time. Okay, it's ten thousand. Okay, good. So now Bloop. We could trade with him. So I've got, he wants coal. I don't have any coal. Okay, let's let's get some coal. Uh, I don't need this flint. So we can, we can get some coal. Huh. Okay, let's put the coal over here. And let's get some coal to trade with this toolsmith. Right, so. Huh? Huh. Oh, and look, he's now locked out of that trade. Put this back up there. Huh? And he, oh, he gets the little swirlies because he's now an apprentice. And he's got new trades. Very nice. Oh, I can, uh, I can get myself a bell. Nice. And if I had some iron, I could trade him iron. Let's get some iron. Bloop. Okay, so iron. 
let's uh, pick up iron. So this new keyboard is a mechanical keyboard. It's a Bluetooth wire. It's a Bluetooth USB three. It's got um, LED backlights. Um, <clears throat> it has Gatoron Brown switches in. I think is what I what I specified. But you could get it made with whatever switches you wanted. And um, oh, those ran out quickly. So. <clears throat> Um, I rather, oh, now we already have new trades unlocked. Now he's a journeyman. He upgraded already. Very nice. Um, and it is, as I said, it might be a little clicky clicky. The last time I tried a, a, a mechanical keyboard for recording, it was very distracting, but we will, uh, we will see. Uh, this arrangement of trap doors is on purpose. This is a little decorative. It gives a nice, like Wayne's cutting type trim. Uh, but this I can close the door on top of him and then get in and say hi. Um, but the nice thing is with it closed, he's completely protected. I've got glowstone above him, so nothing can spawn inside here. And then even with it open, this is less than a block between this and this. This takes up part of the lower block. This takes up part of the upper block. Baby zombies can't get in here. So it's pretty cool, I think. Okay, so if we say, if we come up here, hi, dude. So he's got two trades locked out. And I say times set 2000. And he unlocks. And he unlocked to a higher trade cost. These went down. That's interesting. This one went up too. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Um, let's get some more coal. And, oh, he's not locked out of coal yet. Not locked out of coal yet. There he is. Now he's locked out of coal. Oh, now he's an expert. And he has the little, he has a little emerald. And, oh, we're so close. Oh, what else? We have... Oh, we can get an enchanted shovel, enchanted axe, diamond. Okay, another trade will probably take care of him to get him up to the the next level up. Um, okay, and he unlocked again. Got more expensive on the freaking coal. That's annoying. Uh-huh. Oops. I don't need all this coal. And look, he got the diamond badge, and he is now a master toolsmith. And he can't really go up anymore, so that's, that's fine. So we can get rid of this coal. I don't need all of it. So, um, oh, we can do this. You get some more. Oh, that's weird. That looked like it was locked out. But it let me trade. Interesting. Did he get any more trades down here? Efficiency 2, efficiency 1. Okay, so I'm sure these guys will have their sort of cost benefit on various things. Hi. So now, time set 2000. And he unlocks. And his prices went up again. That's interesting and annoying at the same time. Okay, that's fine. So, um, now, so the question is, then, this arrangement works. He doesn't need to have space above. He doesn't need to be able to jump up on top of the, of the, um, the workstation. Because it can actually be right here and it would work. Uh, the problem I was having was that these guys were... Uh, glomming onto a workstation that didn't belong to them. And it was kind of annoying. Uh, and because they were too close to somebody else's workstation, there needs to be space in between the carrels. So notice I have two blocks here. So let me build this one out. I'll show you. And we'll put another guy in there and we will get him to be what we want. 
Um, so now I can't just use this as a common wall. Um, maybe I'm supposed to be able to because I was under the impression that they just needed to be able to see it or not even be able to see it. It needed to be one of the surrounding blocks. So one of the eight blocks surrounding them and up to I think nine blocks below where they're standing. Which is a little frustrating because that means I am going to have to completely rearrange my village or trading area. Um, because I've got them stacked up on top of one another and that won't work. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we will, we will do what is necessary. Is there another guy here? Oh, hey, he's already going. Now, they cannot share workstations. Why did he become a farmer? Okay, I thought I had this all figured out. Um, do I have a farmer over here? Why did he become a farmer? Oh, I wonder if it's because he thought he saw a... Darn it. Okay, well... Hey, dude. So let's turn you into a stone cutter or whatever, stone smith or whatever they're called. Let's see if we can do that. This was working so cleanly for me. They search in a radius around them. Whoa. Ah! Oh, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna put you up here. Is that my only farmer? Let's do a little test. This is weird and disconcerting. Hi. Um, what can I trade you? Huh? Let's uh let's get some apples, huh? I can always use apples. Of course I don't really need that many apples, but you know, apples are good. So now he's locked out of his apple trade. My understanding is they cannot share workstations. So if this guy has actually taken over, oh, ah, he's now a Mason. Man, was it just trading with that guy? It might have been. Okay. Hopefully you stay a Mason. Let's go, um, let's go see if we can unlock this farmer. Um, time set. Uh-oh. Oh, he unlocked. Okay. Good. Um, that was a little weird. So I may have to be a little careful about how we do this, but... Hi, you're now a mason. I've got some clay balls. How about you give me some emeralds? And... Emeralds? Oh, thank you. And, oh, I can... I've got... Emeralds. I get some bricks. I don't really need these bricks. I don't need these apples. I don't need these emeralds. He is now an apprentice and he'll stone. He'll sell me chiseled stone blocks. Uh huh. Very nice. Okay, he's now locked out of those two. Um, I don't have any plain stone, do I? Let's uh, fix that. Stone. Drop. Okay. Huh? You want some of this? Oh, interesting. Oh, this, I think, shows you where he will go to if you make that trade. 
Oh wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't. I did not know about that. Huh? Okay. So that. Oh, he's got two stone trades. That's really wacky. But let's wait. And a site. That's not stone. Um. Let me get some and a side. And a side. And we'll, uh. Wow, andesite and stone are very difficult to tell apart. Slight more starations in the andesite than in the stone, but that's about it. Huh. Huh? X. Okay, I think this is a bug. Uh, I think that's a bug. Because he obviously is willing to trade more than he's supposed to. Get rid of these. Okay, he's now an expert mason, and he he will he will sell me blue terra. He will sell me terracotta. That's kind of cool. Okay. Ah, uh, that's weird. He will buy andesite and sell ter a diorite. Okay, so I don't need these terracottas. I don't need these. Oh, he upgraded. He's now... Quartz pillar and block of quartz. That's... That is really good. Um, <clears throat> quartz is such a pain in the butt to get in the game. Being able to trade for it like this is, is very good. He's now a master. And that's all his, all his trades. So now he has a workstation. He has a profession. And he unlocked. And his trades got cheaper. Oh, well, some of them did. Huh, that's, oh, that's so weird. Okay. So anyway, you can hear them all unlocking. So I can keep building them out like this. Um, I think what was happening is if I had a workstation here, this guy that was standing right here, it was close enough for him. And I think maybe what it was is he was a little too close to this wall. He wasn't centered on that block. So you need a little more margin. And I suspect that these could be back to back. It wouldn't be a problem. So let's... uh. Let's play some games and see. I have this zombie spawn egg here. Oops. Midnight. Oh. Difficulty. Hard difficulty. And see, he goes and he tries to get at them, but he can't. He can't actually walk underneath this. And uh, one of oh, there's a the little baby. See, the baby's trying to jump up there, but he can't get in either. And I think this guy's going to be okay. All these guys are going to be okay. Hey, you got a sword. So this is safe for them. There's another baby. Oh, these guys have figured out how to jump on top of this. I could put another trap door here and close it, but I don't think it's necessary. So none of these guys are going to get turned into zombies, which is awesome. can see they're all still perfectly healthy so I think this is this is a workable design for my replacement design for my villager carols um, oh ha ha so they all went and restocked so yeah um, I I think hello mr. bat 
Oh, so weird. Oh, because we're so far down in the world. Okay, that's fine. So anyway, I think that's uh, I think that takes care of the village. That one was empty before. I should close this just to make sure. Um, takes care of our villager issues, and this allows them to restock and do all that fun stuff. It will take me a little bit of effort to get all my existing villagers into um, Oh, I have an idea. I uh, got all my existing villagers into uh, new, the new carols. Um, I'll do this. stand there I'll put this here temporarily and we will put this put the glowstone up here let me try stacking one and seeing if I can get him to accept the profession that I want and see if that'll work so in order to make that happen I'm going to have to put some powered rails in um, And oops, rail, uh, powered rails. That's what I want. Oops, uh, and I don't need these bricks. And I could use some redstone torches. Oh no, we can use a lever. Oops, jeez. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it, but I actually rather like this. Uh, keyboard it's nice to type on and uh, when I edit the the video we will see if it's uh, too noisy to use for these videos but okay so if I put another villager in here villager spot egg huh and then I put a minecart here Come on, get down there. There we go. Ah. Oh, uh, trapdoor got. Ah, oh, that's fine. Huh. Ah. Huh. So trapdoors go here and here. And then this one, oops. It's here. And then I can take out this. And then this block I can take out. And what are we going to make him? Let's make him one of these loomy guys. Oh, that's interesting. Um. Oh, well, we would want to put a walkway in here anyway, right? Huh. Hi, Mr. Shepard. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna build up another build up a couple layers. From my understanding is, they said basically, at his foot level, which would be here and nine blocks below, so that is looking at Y eight. That would be down at the very bottom of the world. So down all the way down here. In theory, he could say. I want this guy's workstation. Um, okay, well, I'll play around with it. And uh, if I can make it work so they're stacked, that would be nice. Just because I don't... Um, I don't want to have to, like, dig out a huge villager trading hall um, in, my, in my artificial village area there. But if I have to, I will. So I think that'll do it for now. Um, I am, let's see, I did not, I did not get a video up this week. Um, and by this week, today is like the 22nd. Um, 
Did not get a video up. Because I... Oh, wait. No, I need... Actually, just just put that there. Hold hold tight. Um, because I need... Uh, I had Maker Fair. And then I went... Uh, yeah, so I went to Maker Fair. And I came home. And, and I was driving back on Monday when I would normally edit and post my videos. And I was just... I was exhausted. I was super tired. Um, and so I just, I didn't. Um, <clears throat> hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you don't, uh, um, oops. <clears throat> and I, I had footage from my experiments over there. I actually had a couple, um, a couple bits of footage that I could have used. Uh, there was going to be a third part of what would it was effectively the last two videos, but honestly, I just didn't, um, I didn't feel like it was going anywhere and I knew that they were doing these pre-releases and it just seemed like everything was going to change anyway. And then when I figured out how to make it work, it was like, okay, I'm not going to belabor the point. Um, we'll just do it the way we want. And, um, and then we'll, we'll do that. So I'm going to essentially abort those last two, um, those two videos and just make do with what I've got here. Whoops. And yeah, and that'll be that. So uh, this guy here is a Mason. This guy here is a toolsmith. Let's make him a farmer. And he becomes a farmer immediately. 